channel. It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Monday. What is today? Yeah, it is Monday. Monday, Tuesday. So the 10th to the 11th. Um, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. So I have been finding that the timing can be off by three days, a week, even a little bit more than a week with these daily vibes. But you know, it always comes to pass. It's, 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 it's amazing. So really just wait for it to happen, okay? Or if it's not happening now. Um, I decided to use the Vice Versa deck for this daily vibes. And, and this card uh, was on the top when I started. And I decided to, to move it, you know, shuffle it, you know, and then cut the deck. <laughs> and so we have it again. So that's when that happens, it's it's a strong message. There's some conflict. There's obviously some conflict going on somewhere. And it's like other people are watching this conflict. They may be egging you on or, or um, just sitting on the sidelines watching you destruct. Okay? So, you know, it feels as though... You're allowing yourself to play the game. You know, you're you're engaging. You're engaging. Um, it's a power struggle. You know, I, I'm refusing to give up. You know, refusing to just say, you know what, I, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's not not where I want where I want to be. There's no winners in a fight. There really isn't. We're going to get one of these and see what comes up. If you ask me, the strongest person walks away. I mean, that's my own opinion, but... Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Like I said, you're choosing. It's amazing how they do this. Okay, You're choosing to engage. You're choosing to play the game now keep in mind that there's stuff on both sides of this deck so you'll see things on both sides mm. the ace of pentacles the eight of cups Two of Wands, the Hierophant, the Devil. <laughs> You're dancing with the Devil? You're playing with the Devil? Is that what's going on here? Beautiful. That's always fun, isn't it? Fun for a minute <laughs> or two. <laughs> um... Let me just get this focused in. Somebody has manifested something, by the way, with these two cards being right here. These are manifestation cards right together. Somebody has manifested something. One, 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 all right together. That's, that's significant. One, 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 all right in the same arena. Walked away from something that was emotionally discontent, you know. It didn't, 
serve. You know, it was like these cups were empty. Walked away from a situation that was empty. And it feels like as though because you have turned your back on this situation that was less than fulfilling, now you're receiving some, you've taken back your power, you are receiving some new opportunity. It's because you believe in yourself. You're able to follow your own path. Know your worth. Now, there could be somebody coming into your life with this Knight of Cups that sees your beauty. This person sees your beauty. This person sees your worth. This person sees your compassionate nature. And they may lust for you, okay? They may lust for you because you're such a beauty whoever this is for. You know, they're, they're coming in with an offer of, of love. This could be a, a connection that is so, there's so much chemistry that you may not be able to deny it okay and this may be actually what you manifested you may have manifested this offer through faith and trust and believing that it would come when you were ready, you know, when you had gotten to the point of self abundance, you know. Whoever this person is that's coming in, I think it's somebody new. I do, I think it is somebody new with all these ones, these are new. I feel as though because this person is coming in with this offer is because you have worked really hard on manifesting it, believing, you know, there's a lot of believing and having faith and trust and working really hard on yourself, working really hard on self-love and self-worth and self-esteem and self-respect. But it's funny how when you get to that point, when you get to that point of self-love and you go through that rebirth and you're believing in yourself and you're listening to your inner guide and, and you're doing really, really good, you get this test, right? That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. It's when they, they, like, wait, look at this. This is, to say this is God. And this is the devil. <laughs> Remember at the front, we saw that, that game, those two people. It's, it's the angel versus the devil. <laughs> That's exactly what this is, too. It's like, you know, and, and you can even look at it in this way. You can say angel and devil. So it's like opposites attract. So whoever is coming in is probably, there's an undeniable connection, and it's a test. It's a karmic connection that is coming in to be dealt with. This is what this is. You know, it's like, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Interesting. Very interesting. Um, we're going to get one of these. Oh, here it is. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The 
Somebody's gone through uh, a rebirth. Okay. They've found their own inner beauty. They've created a new self. Okay. I've created a new self for, my, for myself. Found a lot of strength for, for myself through gentle compassion. Through this strength, I have learned that it's best to patiently wait for what I deserve. So somebody has been working really, really hard on themselves, gone through a rebirth, gone through a renewal, and, and, and really sought their higher power for guidance and believed and had faith that this would come when the time was right. And now the time, the time is now, okay? So ones are manifesting, right? And eights are the time is now. So the time is now, perhaps for a partnership, to use a partnership, something you have been praying for to come to fruition. Now there's a, there's a message coming in whether this person is arriving at your doorstep or sending you a message, there's a message coming in that is very desirable, very desirable. Um, I think it's something that you have definitely been asking for, okay? Um, there's the ask. It is something you've been asking for. Um, Whatever this offer is that's coming in, this person does have good intentions. They see your beauty. They see your beauty. They see your worth. They see that you have a a lot to offer. That you're a kind-hearted soul. And I think whoever this person is that is coming in is also a hard worker and they may be coming to communicate perhaps why why they left or why they left a situation to offer you something there's communication coming in after somebody has walked away from one situation. It's like they're walking towards you. But they needed to leave something else behind to get to you. This right here is really, really, really grabbing my attention. I mean, this is a priest, basically, okay, over the Empress. This is the devil over the Knight of Cups. Be careful of deception. Be careful of deception. I just have to tell you that. Because you could be dealing with somebody that you are very, very much attracted to. But your inner guide will tell you how to handle this situation. Don't let your desires, your sexual desires, your addictions, your obsessions, your codependent nature. Don't let that push you into the wrong game, you know, into... hell your inner guide has the answers ask for the answers okay if you're dealing with a temptation if you're dealing with an offer ask if it's safe for you to involve yourself in this situation and then listen okay the first answer you get is usually the correct answer. 
Now this says it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest level, the highest energy of all. Let's get some clarifiers on that card. Actually, I'm going to use this deck for that. There is a new opportunity, something that you've manifested, something that you can touch, something that could be stable. It could be long term. It could end up leading to marriage. Okay? It could. But you may have to face your demons. You may have to open your heart. Listen to your intuition during this time. It knows the answers. Trust. Maybe you need to trust. Maybe that's one of the, the lessons. You know, the devil will whisper in your ear that you can't trust when you can. That's a test. Trust that it is safe for you to open your heart. Demons are fear. Fear of trusting. Fear of opening your heart. The demons will whisper into your ear. They are whispers, untruths. There's an opportunity for happiness here and growth. Ha extreme happiness if you open your heart and trust. This could be with an individual that you have walked away from or they, ha or they have walked away from you or they've walked away from another person and they want to come to you. Ask us for help. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. Squash those demons. Open your heart to love. You're worth it. Somebody's coming in to offer somebody love. And it could lead to happiness, it could lead to bliss could lead to something long-term and solid. It's something that you've manifested. You, you know, it's something you've really been thinking about with these ones. And it's happening quickly. It is happening quickly. Somebody has been through an awakening. They've been enlightened. Untrustworthy situation. Somebody is not trusting. They're not trusting. And you could end up losing an opportunity for love because you can't see that this offer is valid and you're letting your fears... Inhibit, it, inhibit you from opening your heart. You don't have to rush into this. There's no need to rush. Take all the time you need to listen and ask for the answers. The 
somebody is needing to see things through a new perspective, struggling to let go of their own fears. That's what this is. But you're going to have to put, push through it and really try to open your heart. All the pain that you have been through has made you into a very compassionate, caring, loving, beautiful person. Don't let those fears hold you back from love. So I feel like there's an opportunity for extreme happiness with somebody that loves you. But you have to be able to let them in and open your heart. Okay? That's what I see. I feel like today is a day of receiving a new opportunity or a new offer. Perhaps of a commitment. Something that is stable, long term. Maybe if you're in a commitment, it could it could go up to the next level. If you're single, you somebody could be sending you some communication or getting in their car, whatever. And telling you how they feel. Whatever this is, something is happening that you have manifested and it could lead to... It's something that you can take to the bank. But you're going to have to open up. You're going to have to open up your heart, whatever this is. Don't let those fears hold you back from this opportunity of solidity. I don't know who this is for. Won't resonate with everybody. Face those demons. There's a strong, strong, strong connection here. That's when they'll, they'll bring it in. They will bring in that partner. To keep you on your toes. To make you find the, your God, your higher power. And that's where that game was at the end. I mean at the beginning. You have the ability to make anything successful. If you just believe. Anyway, that's what I have. Talk to you later.